Hi guys, so today I'm here with a June favorites video and I know it's a really, really late favorites video. I say as I'm filming on July 8th, but I figured late video is better than no video. So there's not really too, too many actual like makeup favorites um, for the month of June, but I figure I still have a lot of stuff to talk about, so I might as well let you guys know. So without further ado, let's get started. I don't even know what that was. It was like a kind of weird shoulder jam thing. I'm just, I'm just gonna shut it now. So for um, the first favorite, it is the Tarte BB Tinted 12 Hour Primer blah 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 in Fair because I am the palest motherfucker on this earth. And so I think what I really like about this primer is that it gives pretty good coverage. I've gone out with just this on and felt comfortable. Um, so I don't have to put on a lot of like layers upon layers of this kind of foundation and then this kind of foundation and then this kind of setting powder. I can just kind of go outside and just this. So my next favorite is this lovely thing and no it's not all the products inside although I could easily talk about all the products inside. It is the actual makeup bag itself. This is from Vera Bradley and it's I guess one of their newer makeup bags. Um, they have a bunch of different ones with different animals and patterns like they had giraffes, elephants, butterflies, they had hot air balloons and stuff and I got the one with the birdies on it. And I think the thing I really like about this makeup bag is it fits so much stuff. I think I may do a video all about this specific make bag and show you guys just how much this fits. It fits so much. I think I have like two or I have three eyeshadow palettes in here plus a bunch of different blushes, lipsticks, just lots of shit fits in this. So it's really good if you're traveling. The next favorite is currently what I have on my lips and it is the Maybelline uh, Vivid Rose lipstick which looks like this and I've been trying to wear bright lipsticks more you know what I mean to be a little bit more confident in how I look and be like I don't give a fuck what you think yes I realize I'm wearing bright ass lipstick thank you for noticing so this is a nice one to kind of ease me into it before I start wearing like bright like purples and shit because I really like purple lipstick I just need to get brave enough to wear it you know outside where other people will see me. So the next favorite is a hand cream. It's the Bigelow lemon scented hand cream. I don't know. It's from Bigelow Pharmacy or whatever in uh, New York City and I got this because I was doing a summer program in New York City and um, I'm an art major so obviously I work with a lot of like shit basically that gets stuck on your hands and makes your hands feel gross and when you're using a lot of charcoal which dries your skin out like nobody's business. And so basically, I needed something to make my hands feel less dry. And so I got this, and this works wonders. It works really well, and it smells really good. So I am now going to smell it and proceed to talk to you about how good it smells even though you can't smell it. Have you guys ever, like, wondered why YouTubers do that? I always wonder, like, if they're talking about, like, a candle or, like, a lotion, they're like, it smells so good, sniffs. I wish you could smell it. It's like, okay, just say it smells good. It's it, true to scent. It's a lemon smelling thing, so it smells like lemons. I don't know. That's, that's, just, that's just me. We were up in New Hampshire for a couple days, and I was like, fine, I need to shave my legs, like dry shaving, like in this with the sink and stuff, so my legs be shaved so I can wear a skirt to dinner. I was like, L just let me use this then. And she's like, okay. And he used it in. Oh. My. God. This stuff literally makes your legs feel like baby dolphins. I'm, I'm not even joking. I wish I could like let you guys feel my legs. I mean, not right now because they're, they're a little stubbly right now. But when they're shaved and I use this, smoothest thing ever. Ever. My boyfriend noticed a difference from when I use this versus normally when I don't, so. Okay, and then so the last of like the hair, face, body products things is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. And I found this through um, Dangerous Persons, uh, one of her favorites, I can't remember, I think it was her May favorites. And I was like, okay, I'll try this out. Normally the dry shampoo I use is from Sephora and it's like 11 bucks for like one of the baby sizes and I'm like, that's ridiculous. 
but it worked. This was only like six bucks. I'm like, well, I might as well try it. Like, I have nothing to lose. And it works pretty well. I really like it. I, I used it on my hair today because, I don't know, it's a lazy summer day. I didn't, I didn't feel like showering today and washing my hair, so I, I didn't. I washed my hair last night, okay? It's fine. It's fine. Just don't, don't judge me. And so my next three favorites, which are also my last favorites, are um, a book, a video game, and an app. So I guess we'll start with the book, which is something, this book is something that everybody and their mother has read, and it is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Now, the only reason I bought this was because I was like, I want to read the book before I see the movie. And so I'm like, I bought it and stuff, and it's a pretty easy read. It's like ninth grade or eighth grade level. It's a really, really easy read. So for someone like me, who's obviously in college and is used to like more, I guess, I don't want to say adult level reading, but you know what I mean? Like di more difficult reading. It was a really easy read. That was nice. That I mean, I could just breeze through it. I didn't have to sit there and be like, let me inter think intellectually about this book. It's just kind of like a nice, easy read. Um, I didn't cry at the end of this. I did feel a little choked up, but I didn't cry. I cried at the movie. But I think the thing that makes this book one of my favorites is that it really made me, I think, a stop and think about myself and how like I view my life and everything and I don't know how good the lighting is because the clouds just went down so if it gets kind of dark sorry I think everyone should read this um again it's not like the best written book I've ever read in my life and oh my god it's so original it deserves all the hype it's getting because everyone overhypes it I definitely think that but I mean it's a decent book like you might as well read it at some point so now I'm going to show you the app that is on one of my favorites and that app is Winello as you can see my little shoppy shoppy wow focus you stupid camera whatever anyway so everybody and their mother probably knows about Winello I like this app a lot because I kind of have a shopping addiction and this lets me basically be able to kind of live my shopping addiction without having to actually, you know, purchase things and spend my money, but I can feel like I'm purchasing things even though I'm not, I'm just saving them. So you guys should totally follow me at Gamer Girl Beauty. Yeah, yeah, pimping myself, pimping my my profile pic, which, oh, that's actually another favorite I'll talk about real quick. Really, that wasn't originally gonna be part of my favorites, but I'm just, I'll talk about it anyway. Um, I went to Philadelphia Comic Con uh, this past June. Last, you know, last month, June, when I'm, the month I'm talking about. And it was a lot of fun. I think the highlight of it was I met Sebastian Stan, who plays Bucky, a.k.a. the Winter Soldier, in the Captain America movie. So I guess it's kind of ironic that I wore my cap shirt today. I promise that wasn't planned out. But yeah, so I met him, and he's lovely and perfect. And it was just a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, my phone background is... A photo of me and him. We took an awkward prom photo. I don't even know if the camera's focusing, but yeah. And then my last favorite is my favorite video game of the month, and I figured for all of my monthly favorites, I can include my favorite video game, because if I'm at Gamer Girl Beauty, obviously that means I'm a gamer, and that means I like video games. So I figure just I'll talk about the game that I was playing most that month, and you know, all that good stuff. Um, so for the month of June, obviously I was off school, yay! <laughs> and so basically I finally had free time to play a game that I absolutely love, but never have time to play during school, even though I try to play it during school anyway. But whatever. And that game is, drumroll please, I'm just, I'm just gonna edit that part out. Skyrim! Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Which, of course, is a game that came out a while ago, but... I love this game like nobody's business. It is my baby. Um, I really, really love these kind of fantasy games. Like, I really love Legend of Zelda. Hey. Um, and so this is kind of like Legend of Zelda, but the more mature version. And, like, you can make your character, which I love. And it's just so... You basically have a lot of control, and there's so many little things to do. There's so many places to explore and discover, and there's so many quests, and you don't even have, like, I haven't even done the main quest yet. I think I've visited the Greybeards, you know what I mean? And that's about it. But basically, you can play this so much, and I have the Legendary Edition, so this came with all the DLC stuff already built in, which is awesome. So yeah, PlayStation 3, 
because why would you play this on Xbox? I shouldn't be saying that. My sister plays it on Xbox, but PS3 for the win. Okay, guys, so that was my June favorites. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please thumbs up this video if you liked it or if you liked any of my favorites or if you're planning on checking anything out. Oh,